Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Battletech with Zebu's Marauders. Now, last episode we finished our first ever Flashpoint mission. It was pretty good. It ended on a bit of a sour note there as we lost the last mission and we didn't get paid for it. But overall it was a pretty profitable mission. It was fun to sort of break things up a little bit. And now in this episode we'll sort of deal with uh, the ramifications of that that mission and, and sort of fix up our mechs and our pilots and everything else like that. So first off, we have to uh, deal with this little issue here. We lost Courser. He was piloting the prototype mech in the last uh, mission and he is gone. He's a guy who's been with us since day zero. I figured that out. So it's day zero to 197. So he was one of our original pilots and now he's gone. Melissa Courser Lynch is no more. 12 deployments, 5 injuries taken, 17 mechs killed, 9 other kills, no ejections. You know, had a pretty good run. Pretty good run. But unfortunately, his time as a mech warrior is ended. So we're going to have to replace him at some point. Not quite yet. We can check out the rest of our mech, mech warriors, see where they're at. So we've, we're down to four. We're going to need to buy one or two more. We'll see. But for now, we're down to Heat Wave and Raspberry. Zebu is out for 19 days. Waiting for orders. Hardcore is out for 27 days. So we got some issues going on there. Let's check out the mechs and see how long we have to wait there and what we have to do here. So good news is we have a Centurion who's fine. No problems here with the Centurion whatsoever. We got another Centurion that is out 15 days getting repaired from last mission. We got our fire starter here with no weapons, so we just need to refit him and then he'll be fine. Blackjack is also fine. So that's you know, that's if we needed to in an emergency we could probably run out four mechs pretty quickly. Now Urban Mech took quite a bit of pounding last episode. Let's see if it's just a repair or if it's just a refit. Uh, you know, it's okay. 30 tons, didn't lose anything. Just sort of damaged left leg. Other than that, not much going on. So he's still got his lasers, still got his auto cannon. Kind of a weird setup for an urban mech, but you know what? We'll take it. We'll take what we can get. And then this commando, take a look at the commando, took a little bit more damage, lost a leg completely, but other than that is fine. Mm, is it fine though? One short range missile and one medium laser. You know, I think last time when we when we were working on this mech, like we didn't have anything. We didn't have enough weapons to go around. Now we've got a lot of different weapons here. We've got three medium lasers. Three medium lasers we could use if necessary. Or a large laser. I think the Commando Bs are actually supposed to have a large laser. Now we I don't know, large laser, medium laser. Let's just take that out. Is that four tons? Is that really four tons? That's one ton. Yeah, okay, one ton. So we could drop one ton of armor to get an extra medium laser. I think that's okay. That would give him a little bit more firepower. Two medium lasers and a short range missile. Six, I think, is decent. So we can lose some armor for that. And we'll be okay. Right. I'll so I think that, that commando was just lacking a little bit of firepower. Um, now we also have the fire starter that we need to refit. Uh, the good news is we do have some flamers. We got a flamer plus plus. Does uh, bonuses four ammo and plus five heat damage. Bonuses for ammo. How many of these? How many of these flamers we got? So we got a th we got three total flamers. So we could flame up here. 
maybe. Flame up. F flame up. Flame up. Okay, we still got a lot of tonnage to work with. Um, how many machine guns we got? We only have one machine gun. That's okay. We can we can give him a machine gun. I'm sure we got some machine gun ammo. We do indeed have some machine gun ammo. I don't want to put it in the center torso because if the ammo blows up, it's like really bad. It does a lot of damage. We also have sh short range lasers. Small lasers, if you will. We got one of those. You know, how many support weapons can we give this guy? Just be like, you just run up, punch people. It's a half ton. Oh, we got a half ton. Now we need, actually need some, some weapons here. Medium laser. Medium laser. Still got four tons left. Large laser is five tons. I don't necessarily think we want to do that. Alright, equipment here. I don't think we need heat sinks. Well, right now we're exactly at heat sinks. We could give them some jump jets to run around. We've got three, three jump jets. One, two, three. Oh, we got four jump jets. Three, four. There we go. So now he's definitely more of a scout mech, definitely more of a run around, punch people, shoot them at short range. Interesting. Give him a little bit of extra armor there. 35 tons. All right. Not the greatest mech you've ever seen, but it'll do its job. It'll have a battlefield role, right? It'll short range. Scout can maneuver around, you know, fun, <laughs> fun stuff. Okay, so let's uh, manage our queue here and see what we've got. So the Urban Mech one day, put that up there. Uh, I think the Centurion is probably our most important, so we'll put him next. And then Commando and Firestarter are less important, so we can have them later down in the queue. That's fine. Still got 1.6 million. We got lots of months available now because we've got so few pilots. We don't have a lot of pilot expenses. Um, but we do have a contract. We look at we looked at a contract at the end of the last episode, which was this one. The payroll seizure. Located a secure facility where local pirate organization stores its payroll before distributing it to local forces. We believe we could put that payroll to better use. We'd like to hire you to hit the facility and steal the payroll. Heck yeah. I mean, you know we're not in very good with the pirates right now anyway, so we might as well double down on that. 135000 is not a lot. Uh, yeah, for this one, I think we'll go for maximum payroll. Minimum salvage just to uh, you know just to make it worth our while now. It is a travel contract So I think they'll also Pay for our travel. I think that's how it works, but we'll accept that Yeah, and so here we go So we looked at that site or that new um, That new star system we're going to we looked at that last time and it's you know It's a star system that we can handle. I think it's two star you know, maybe we sh maybe we could handle something bigger, but uh, I'm still not that confident in our mechs and our pilots right now. Hopefully, the system is inhabited. I didn't think about that. Hopefully, the system is inhabited and has a mech pilot or two for us to uh, purchase, to hire. I suppose is a better way to put it. All right. So, quick jump. Not uh, not too bad. About to have our financial report. Financial report. All right, so we're looking pretty good. Operating expenses two hundred thirty thousand. No problems. Morale is fine. You know, we could afford to be generous, right? Get a plus one in morale. That will help us on the battlefield, I think. 
I'm going to try that out and see what effects that has. I know that they say that like that increases your, your potential to, to have your special abilities pop up. And those special abilities can be pretty devastating. Uh, hiring hall. We definitely need to check that out. Okay. So we do have some pilots available to recruit. Not the greatest pilots in the world, but we do have one guy. Uh, commander? One person. Taboo. One mech warrior, if you will. Commoner Technical School. Hmm. Got the uh, sure footing. Passive uh, ability. Mech pilots with this skill gain one bonus evasion charge after moving. Can exceed the unit's maximum. If the move is not a sprint, jump, charge, or melee, the mech also gains entrenched. 50% stability. All right. So I think we will hire. You may not hire mech warriors while in transit. Okay. So I guess that's that. Let's go. <laughs> there we are. Get picky, why don't you? We've arrived at Ida Commander, ready to proceed with our current contract. Not yet. Not yet. Um, we still haven't checked. So we've got two days for the mech, for the Centurion. Four days for Zebu. So I think we'll have to wait four days, and then hire a mech warrior, and then go on the mission. Right? Yeah. That seems to be the plan of action. So, let's go. Four days. It's not too much to wait. Don't like wasting days, you know, but it's fine. It's fine. Okay, now, uh, hiring hall. Hello, hiring hall. Now we can hire Taboo. Order. Welcome aboard, New Mech Warrior. Available. Now we can go on our mission. Launch contract. Okay, so we have the Centurion 50 ton mech. We have the. Is that a second Centurion or is that the same one? We have the second Centurion 50 ton mech. We have the Blackjack 45 ton mech. And we have the Urban mech 30 ton mech. So that's pretty close to the best we could do in terms of mech tonnage. I think it is. I think the Firestarter and the uh, Commando are both 25-ton mech. No, Firestarter is 35 tons, so that would be our biggest mech. But anyway, all right, so Heat Wave, we're going to put you back in the Urban mech. You seem to like that, enjoy that. Zebu goes in a Centurion, and then I guess... Uh, I guess we'll put Taboo in the Blackjack and Raspberry in the other Centurion. That's fine. Why does everybody have sure footing? What's the deal with that? I didn't think everybody had sure footing, but I guess that's just how we fight. We like to be sure footed mech warriors. Who knew? Who knew that was our tactical doctrine? For Zebu's Marauders, but I guess it is now. All right. Let's see what this mission has in store. It's a bank heist. It's like the beginning of the Dark Knight. We're robbing from the mob, robbing from the pirates, stealing it for ourselves. I guess we're not Robin Hood. Because the company says they, they got a better use for that payroll. They're going to use it to pay us, I think. Maybe that's not the best idea for getting paid, but... Because uh, then the pirates will come after us. Because they we got the money, right? Maybe that's not how we should do it. Anyway, the pirates don't like us to begin with. So it's not really a big deal, I don't think. Let's see. Personally, I'm not above simple robbery to pay the bills, Commander. Nice. Nice to know my CO has, uh, you know, loose morals there. Uh, let's see. Yep. Yeah, we've already read that. Seize the payroll and escape. That's it, huh? Pretty simple. All right. Time to start the mission. Let's go. Command 
I didn't even look to see what kind of planet this was. It looks like a moon base. Getting updated intel from our employer. They believe the base is going to be even more heavily defended than we thought. Of course it is. We need to move up and get a look at the base so we can see what kind of firepower they have. Once we grab the payroll, the leopard will extract us at this LZ. Okay. Do we get hazard pay for fighting on this rock? Yeah, so... Raspberry, or maybe that was Taboo, I'm not sure. I think that was Raspberry. But anyway, one of our pilots definitely doesn't like fighting on the moon because, uh, you know, it gives us heat problems. But, let's go, let's see what's up. Alright, so they do have a mech. That's no good. All right, Centurion. I guess we'll go out here to meet that man. Advancing, mech. I guess. Normally, I'd send like the lightest mech up there to go get the payroll, but um, the urban mech is kind of slow. Heading out. We don't really have a scout mech. Oh, it's just a locust. Speaking of scout mechs, speaking of scout mechs, it's just a locust. Okay, heat wave, what do you got, buddy? Oh yeah, you got the large laser and the auto cannon too. Spot it. Do you have a clear shot? You do. Give him heck, forty percent chance. Well, we don't want to waste auto cannon ammo. Oh, head destroyed. What a shot. What a Hot shot. First shot of the game is an instant kill. Yep. And he gets to move again. He's on a roll. Coordinates received. There's another mech. Okay. Brace. Jenner, a little bit more damage. A little bit more danger from the Jenner, as you can see there. A couple of medium lasers and some sort of short range missile launcher. Now. What now? Come on, Raspberry. Get with the program. What do you got? You got Auto Cannon 10, large laser, and a long range missile 5. Boy, what is with these percentages to hit? These are awful. Precision strike gets us up to 60%. Knockdown blasted out both his legs. Wow. Big hits going on right now. Okay, Zebu. Might be able to shoot down on him. Absolutely can. See if we can take out that leg. Left torso destroyed, left arm destroyed. Critical damage detected. Standing by. Standing by. Moving to position. Okay, two auto cannon fives and two medium lasers. Who built this mech? Ouch. Mech destroyed. Get absolutely roasted, my friend. Um. Guess, Affirmative. Guess we don't really have, uh,. Much else to do but run for the target. On my way. On my way. On my way. Uh, let's. Receiving you. Taboo will have you come up to the target zone. All right, hand over the payroll. Your money or your life sort of situation going on here. 
Seize the payroll by securing the location. Do we need everybody up here or just... That would suck. Moving to position. Moving out. We have the asset command. Okay. Oh. Well, that was simple. That was a little too simple. That was like... Nothing. Two light mechs. And that was it. Success. 248,000. Thank you very much. Okay, we got some XP, so maybe we can level up some guys. Um, yeah, we got three pieces of salvage. We got a long range missile five. We got a locust chassis, and we got a Jenner chassis. There wasn't really much in the way of salvage, so it's good that we took all the money. Okay. So that's it. Quick episode. We fixed some mechs. We moved systems. We finished a really easy mission. So maybe we should start. Jenner D is ready to go. Okay. Uh, let's see. Um, for now, we'll put the Jenner in storage. We'll bring it out of storage at some other day. So Itika... Didn't really look at this place that in detail. We give it a try now. Two-star challenge. It's got a battlefield, a lunar world. That's the part I missed. Token population, uninhabited. So there's not really much going on here. But we do have some, some missions we can take a look at perhaps next time around. Let me make sure we do have some missions. Yeah, we do have some missions. Okay. So we will come back, try to finish out some of these missions, do some tougher missions, and see, uh, see what we can do. So until then, we'll see you later. Bye-bye.